we just spent the night in Yapoon at one of the caravan parks. Yep, nice and cheap, a pound side actually. Yes. Yeah, was, was good. Pretty good. I yeah, was checking out the town at the moment, which is actually beautiful. I uh, did not know any of this is here. Yeah, it's yeah we're just kind of lazy though. Yeah, so we're just getting very lazy. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where we end up. Not sure where we're going after this, but. Yeah, got no plans, so just wing it. Sounds good. Are you getting me up to now? Oh, who knows? Sure. shit. Have a look at it. So, abandoned hotel resort. Hotel. Yeah. Um, if this turns out not to be legal, we will not publish this. Oh no, we're not meant to be here. Yeah. Be right. Yeah, that's it. No harm done. Oh, the security camera looks a bit dead. Wow. This is the building. Don't even pull it up. The fence. Yeah. It's fairly, I don't know, I'm, I haven't explored random abandoned places before, so. It's always interesting. Yeah. Wow. It's huge. And it was really weird driving here because the roads, there was like dual lane and you could see that it was once nice, but it was starting to get overgrown and bumpy. So you could tell something was out here, but... Yeah, we just came from the beach. We just went driving along the beach there and saw the little steps up, so we thought we'd check it out. Yeah. It looks like there's a church over there. Yeah, check out that. Yeah. I don't like that stuff. What? Creepy old churches. Yeah, <laughs> Roxy. Welcome to the Capricorn, Capricorn Coast, where we have nice resorts that are abandoned. Can make an ad for them. Restart their business. So this is what we meant by dual lane 
set up and I guess the infrastructure for the resort that we saw on the way down. Yeah, it's all a bit overgrown and that. Um, when we get back to camp we'll sort of tell the story of uh, what went on when we go a bit more. We've been talking to a few locals and they told us a bit, so let's find out the rest of it. Um, hey. Most knows all about it, but yeah. um, it's owned by a Japanese businessman, oh. and uh, he started building this in his 80s. Yeah. He owns all this land. It was sold to him in, um, in the J.B. Walker Peterson era. Yeah. So a lot of government corruption and all that sort of stuff. So he owned all this. He started building all this. It actually opened in the 19. Mid, mid 90s or late 90s, some of like that. Yeah. And then uh, he died, and then his sons took over and they shut it down. They shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah, right. So, this whole this, everything's just apparently you can go in there and everything's still, there's bed sheets on the beds, there's uh, oh, right. all that, there's living still there. You can see all the staff quarters and all the resorts. Nathan doing his handy thing of setting up camp. Oh, he's out. Hey, Rox, what are you doing? just at a wiki camp tonight which is just like a 10 20 dollar fee to stay the night on this guy's property and it's pretty stunning just outside of Yapoon so hopefully we don't get in by too many mozzies but we're prepared and really like this view just here of the mountains and the fence very pretty